All right. So um, my tiles have been drying for a while, and now I just I need a needle tool and some metal screen to finish them off. Um, and you can see they're they're drying pretty well. Uh, they kind of get a little space. I should be able to pop off of the the board pretty soon. You don't want them to like dry too attached to the board. Ooh, these are a little, but here we go. This one's coming off. Um, so you want to make sure that they have room to like pop off. There you go. I'm going to flip mine over and rebuild them this way so that um, as I pop them off, I'm, I'm making sure they lay flat in the opposite direction. Uh-oh. So like that. And then I'm going to sand the edges and just um, label them, right, with the same marks that are on my template. And uh, then I'm going to bevel the edges so that um, there's no sharp edges after it's fired. Okay, hi you guys. Some The rare visitor today. I'm making a video. So I'm just flipping this over and um, making sure that they're laying flat again. They're still at leather hard, so that's good. Again. Popping them off, laying them flat. Then I'm going to label them real quick. You guys are fine. You can talk. It's, it's just school. This is really tricky. You don't want to break them popping them off. Oops, this one. There's one in between. Okay, I'm going to keep doing this. I'm going to take a break. I'll come back and show you the last steps. Um, once I've got this all released and flipped over and kind of laid flat, then I'll come back and show you how I label it and um, finish the edges. Okay? Okay. Um, I had a little interruption there, but um, I'm back at it. So I have my tile... Um, project under here and I broke one of the pieces such a bummer I can try to slip and score it back together but I might um, just remake it it's a little hard to remake it and have it fit perfectly but I can use this piece as my template. Um, so that might be what it does. Now I'm going to um, refine the edges and label them. So I have to have my map out. Um, and I'm going to start at the bottom. I'm going to just get a little piece of um, screen cut up. And um, I'm going to start with this back, this bottom piece here. Um, all I'm going to do is gently sand the edge. Just so it's not a sharp edge. Right? I'm not taking any space in between them. I'm just kind of beveling the edge of the piece like this. So all I've done is knock down this corner on the top. I'm just doing that to make sure that the glaze fits over the edge, that when you run your hand along it, there's no um, unsmooth areas. 
And then on the bottom of the tile, I'm going to write my initials, CW, and then 13, because that's what this piece is marked. And then I'm going to put it here. Right? Next. Just the edge. Just the top edge. And then this piece is CW12. Being very careful with these pieces. CW11. This piece is a little dry, so I'm going to be very careful. Closer to bone dry. I should have done it last night, but when I got interrupted, I had to stop. So. Lily, please. Just that edge. Oops, label this CW11. I mean 10, I mean 10, I mean 10. Oops. It's really easy to mismark. There's a lot of shrinkage that happens and you can see that, right? Um, do this one, CW5. Knocking that edge off just a tad. And you're labeling it on the back, right? Making sure everything looks too good from the top once you put it together. Easier if I label it when I pick it up because then I forget if I don't. Okay. So I labeled the backside first and that now I'm sanding. It just makes it, <laughs> makes it so I make less mistakes.
There we go. Edge, almost done. Fast forward this and get the point. But after this, I'm just gonna put it back together, weight it down, and um, allow it to dry, continue to dry until um, it's a little bit, it's really close to bone dry, and then I will, um, uh, Um, when it's really close to bone dry, I'll start painting or glazing the surface. Um, you can underglaze when it's bone dry. It's just, um, they're fragile and I prefer to do it, um, a little bit before bone dry. Oops, puzzle problems, here we go. Uh, this piece goes not like that, but like that, not like that, but like that, not like that, but like. Hmm. How do you go? You can probably see it, but I don't. Oh, now I moved it. No, come on. Just move over, everybody, so I can see what's going on. I need to see that this piece goes um, right here. This piece goes here. This piece goes here. This piece goes here. There we go, got it. No stress, figured it out. There we go. All right. This is C CW14. Where did I, stuck to me. Again, this piece is fragile. It's dried a little bit more. It's closer to the edge. So I'm going to be real gentle with it. CW4. 
Okay, now I'm gonna use this piece for a template, but I am, um, it has shrunk, so I need to make it a little bit bigger than this. Um, I'm not gonna throw this away because, um, just in case, I can always glue it back together if I need it. But I'm gonna set this piece aside that broke and I'm going to use it as a template to retake, to remake one. This one I'm gonna um, make sure it's weighted as I dry and then I'll start glazing it. Okay, super fun. All right, this is where you should be, ready for glaze. 